I want to keep talking to you, you know? I don't know what your situation is, but uh, I feel like we got some kind of uh, connection, right? Hi there, my name is Rick Schutte, animator at the Blender Studio. And in this video, I would like to give you a quick overview of the new snow rig and how to animate it. Keep in mind when you're linking in your character for the first time to save the file and reopen it. That way the cloud rig UI will pop up in your scene. I'll cover most of the important things that are here. The character tab gives you the visibility option for several parts of the body. Next one is the Layers tab. Here you can turn on and off the visibility of your bones in the viewport. And there's the Settings tab. And it comes with a couple of sub-tabs where you can find uh, IK, FK switches, space switches for empty bones, and several IK and FK options. And last up, there's the Face tab that gives you a couple of options to manipulate the face as well. Let's go over the body rig here. It's a pretty straightforward setup with a main um, body bone. The spine can be used as an IK spine, but there's also the FK option. For the arms and legs, same thing. We have the FK arm here, where you can turn it on and off the hinge option. So when we rotate the shoulders, the FK arm will only follow the position. And then of course, there's the IK FK switch for either arms and legs. There's the main IK leg bone. And behind that, there's a control to manipulate the foot roll. Now behind snow, there's a big cogwheel here. And if we select that, we will see that uh, all the keys of the properties in the cloud UI are stored on this cogwheel bone. Let's take a look at the facial setup here. For the eyebrows, there's the main eyebrow control. And then use the inner bones to shape it how you would like. For the eyelids, there's a similar setup. You use the main yellow bones to open and close and use the smaller green controls to manipulate the shape in a more detailed way. For the eye direction, you can either use the FK option by simply rotating the eyeballs or use the target control that's a bit further away to set the eye direction like that. You select the FK eye bones and scale them. You can change the radius of the pupils. We have a couple of cheekbones where we can use them to compress or stretch the face and change the nostril, move the whole nose around. For the mouth, we have the jawbone here. We can open and close the jaw. There's this big yellow bone in front of the mouth where we can move the whole mouth around. And these yellow squares are the mouth corners. Let's take a look at those. For the mouth corner, you can move it, rotate it to manipulate the tips, but also scale it to widen it or pinch it. If we take a look closer, there's an arrow. When we move that up and down, it determines how much it's following the jaw. If we move it all up and we rotate the jaw, it will stick to the top. If we move it down, it will fully come with the jaw. Now, in order to move the mouth corner bones freely, we separated the Z axis from the X and Y. This way, it prevents the animator to go off model quickly. When you select the arrow right here, you will still be able to move the corner in and outward. For the main lip controls, there's the bigger one to move the upper and lower lip. For the smaller lip bones, you can rotate them inward and outward to create a nice lip roll. The green bone right here enables the squash and stretch of the whole lower face. 
Within the mouth, we can enable the tongue controls, which is an FK setup, and also some bones to manipulate the teeth. Finally, there are some lattice bones to manipulate the face even more. You can create some nice squash and stretch and add some extra deformation if that's needed. The rig will also come with a pose library that we can access through the animation tab right here. If you click on a pose, it will apply it immediately. But if you click and drag, it will blend between your current pose and the pose library pose. And that gives you a brief overview on how to use and animate the snow rig.